Hey everybody, Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts. Today we're going to be talking about Dieselgate. A few days ago, everywhere there's been a bunch of articles posted by New York Times all over every social media, ton of stuff on places like Jalopnik, Car and Driver, everything, talking about VW and their issue of compliance with diesel models for the EPA standards. Now, basically what happened was the EPA issued an NOV, uh, which is a notice of violation to Volkswagen to about these vehicles affected, which is 09 through 2015 TEI two liter engines. Now, there is a stop sale currently on all those models. You cannot buy a TDI in the US at this time. Now, essentially what that Issue, was issued for was for excessive NOx emissions. Now, NOx is an emission which is a byproduct of the combustion of, a, of any internal engine. Diesels have a significant amount more NOx than a gas engine, which is why other systems need to exist other than just a catalytic converter. So, the ICCT, which is a private non-government entity, was doing testing on these vehicles. They determined that it didn't meet the standard and they found that there was some fishy stuff. They eventually, VW actually issued a ECM update based on this information. And still after this fact of this happening, there were still concerns about meeting the RD, RDE, uh, which is real driving experience. Future, I believe that's part of the reason why all this testing was taking place to, to determine what was gonna need to happen to make sure those vehicles would meet this future standard that's coming in the in the next couple of years. So once they were doing that, they realized that there was some fishy stuff going on. And unfortunately, it seems like VW actually did do some things that uh, are probably questionably uh, have questionable moral compass. So the NOV, if we take a look here, this is the main page. We'll put a link to this complete article. It's a lot of legal jargon and then towards the bottom they explain more detail. Now, this next screenshot is actually a clip we took out from it. And what it depicts is the red underlined version talks about the quote unquote defeat device that VW is using essentially based on what I gather, they're using a some sort of system that bases steering angle of the vehicle along with engine operating temp, uh, temperatures, time, that type of stuff to determine if it is on a dyno, because obviously any vehicle running on a dyno, you're not gonna be steering the car at all. It's just gonna stand stagnant, driving in a straight line. And that's how they're, you, from what I gather of what the information that's been put out, that's the information they're using to determine a test mode. So when they did this real driving, they figured out that there is a significant amount more knocks coming out of the vehicle, and that's a problem. So. All that said, obviously a huge problem. We're big VW and Audi fans, big problem for the company. It's probably not gonna be anything where the brand's gonna have to pull up or anything significant for the brand itself. Will be pretty painful, I imagine. The EPA is probably gonna slap them with a pretty hefty fine. Uh, they've said up to $37,000 per affected vehicle, which is a pretty big number. So what, what does it mean if you have a two liter TDI car? So what's most likely gonna happen if you have a TDI car, there's gonna be a software update to, to uh, meet these standards. Now, based on the fact they were able to somehow trick everybody into thinking they met the standards and they didn't, I would assume that they would also be able to rewrite the software to actually meet the standards of the vehicle. Now, what does it mean for the, your vehicle? Problem is gonna be, if, they ha if they've done this most likely you're going to lose some performance as far as power and potentially some uh, emissions or uh, not emissions, you're going to lose some fuel mileage potentially during that process. Now, most VW TDIs have been understated for a long time. You know, they would state 37, 38, 39 on the sticker and then most people are experiencing 45, 50, 55 miles to the gallon. Um, even that, that one guy who drove across the country and set the standard was uh, I think 77 miles to the gallon in that Passat TDI. So most likely you're gonna end up with a diminished fuel mileage and potentially power and performance, but that's most likely what it means. 
I wouldn't try to contact dealers because they're not going to have any resolution for this until VW actually releases a software update, which I imagine will take some time. And they're probably going to focus on getting the stop sale lifted on a lot of these cars before they even move forward with addressing all the models that are out there on the road day to day. Who knows? I don't really know. This is just my personal opinion based on my experience. Thanks for watching. This is all the information we have on this particular topic right now. I think over the next coming weeks, there's going to be more information that gets released. Keep an eye out. I'm sure there'll be tons of articles out there about this situation.